Hey everyone, Jesse Martinez here with Matsui International. Happy to introduce our Matsui Tech Corner. In today's video segment, we will be going over our new color mixing software. I'll be showing you how it works and how to use it. Uh, if you do come across any bugs in the software, please let us know and we'll try to get to them as soon as possible. So let's get started. Hey everyone, uh, here ready to get started with our tutorial on how to use our Color Mixer 3.0. But before we get started with that, I'd like to uh, show you where you can find it on our website at www.matsui-color.com. Uh, from the home page, we're going to go over to Resources and select Color Mixer. Then you're going to have the page here where you're going to scroll down. It just talks a little bit here about the Color Mixer. We're going to scroll down. And this area here where it says Matsui Color Mixer is now live. Sign up today. We're going to go ahead and click on there. And it's going to take us into a little sign in. Uh, actually, let me log out here. That looks like this. Okay. For those of you using this software or this uh, cloud based software for the first time, which uh, this is the way we plan to do it from here on out is putting the software up on the cloud it makes it a little bit easier uh, to use and more accessible. I know a lot of you got used to the download version and uh, but nowadays, you know, we should have uh, internet pretty much uh, to us anywhere in our building. So I'm hoping this doesn't create a problem for you all. But um, th the goal behind this is to also eventually, with your accounts, um, be able to save your data and your formulas uh, specifically for your company. So uh, this software will continue to get updated as we get it, go along. Uh, but for now, it's just a very uh, simple, generic use software that um, can at least get you the formulas that you need. So uh, I'll go ahead and continue here. Um, the sign up here is pretty easy. You go down here where it says uh, create a new account. Uh, you enter your information, your password, and then it'll take you right in. So I'm already uh, registered in there. And uh, I'll go ahead and type in my... Uh, credentials here so we can get logged in and get started with the um, tutorial here. Once you've uh, gotten registered and signed in, uh, this is a screen that's going to come up and you'll be ready to get started with the software. Uh, the main thing that I want to point out here and what's going to help you a lot better understand the software is really these two first boxes here. Uh, those are the ones that are active and are going to get you to the formula that you need. First, you want to start with your print application. Your options are going to be uh, discharge, direct to fabric, and on white base. The last three here are not active yet, but will be active in the near future. But for now, we'll focus on these three. Uh, something that's new in our software is that we have formulas for discharge now, where in our previous uh, software, we did not. And everybody pretty much uh, would have to work with direct to fabric and on a um, white base formula. So now we have added the discharge formulas to our software and it's going to make it a lot easier to make colors. Uh, disclaimer is that um, there is no software that's 100% accurate. These softwares are designed uh, as guides, color guides to get you close to the color. There's always going to be some room for improvement when it comes to colors. And reason being is that when you're making uh, formulas or, or color matches by hand, by eye, and working with an analog printing system, there's just a lot of variables that can shift colors or affect the color accuracy. So, you know, just want to throw that out there because um, we do get a lot of phone calls saying the software is off or uh, certain colors off. Not a lot. Get a few, but it happens. Um, it is normal that the colors not be exactly some will some will not but it's not uh, normal um, that we get a lot of uh, discrepancies with uh, color formulas uh, we do try our best to get you the most accurate formula possible uh, but there is going to be cases where you have to adjust so just want to throw that out there um, and uh, if there is uh, any concerns i will show you how to reach out to us and uh, we'll do our best to get you closer to the color Okay, so let's go ahead and continue here. Uh, so we have discharge, direct to fabric, on white base. What does this mean? Well, discharge is inks that are designed to be activated and remove the dye from the fabric. 
direct to fabric is going to be your white shirts, uh, white fabrics or light color fabrics where you do not discharge or put a white under base to put color on top. And then on white base is going to be for your darker colored shirts where you need a white under base underneath the color. So very simple, discharge, direct to fabric on white base. After you're done selected your application, um, we're going to go ahead and choose the Matsui ink system. So if you notice here, since we selected discharge, it's only going to give us the discharge products available in the Matsui line. If we go back to print application, direct to fabric, select the ink system again. Now it's going to give us all the ink lines that are available um, in the Matsui ink line that can print direct to fabric without a white underbase. As you notice here, we do have a discharge base that can do that without activating. The 301 series is a low solid acrylic, easy prints, a medium solid acrylic. Uh, we do have an Infinity RFU series, which is a medium solid acrylic. Colors are ready for use. Those formulas will be here eventually. They're not here now, uh, but they are basically the same formulas that are in your Pantone book. Uh, Stretch 301 series is our high solid acrylic. Acrylicone series is also a high solid acrylic. The only difference between the Stretch and the Acrylicone is that the Stretch is the original high solid acrylic, which uh, was a little tacky and sticky. Uh, Acrylicone is our newest version of the high solid acrylics. Uh, has a better hand feel, a little bit smoother, less tacky. We're going to go ahead and go back to application one more time. And we're going to select on white base. And it's going to give us the systems that are designed that most likely have more opacity and the reason why. Um, again, we have the 301 series, easy print series, stretch series, and acrylicone series, which no formulas there right now, but will there also soon be some formulas there, which you can use also um, the easy print or the stretch series formulas for the acrylicone series. Um, go back to application. Uh, what I want to show you here, let's go back to discharge now, and let's select bright discharge. I like red. Red seems to be a popular color, so... Um, but we already have 185 selected there. Um, let's see, let's do 485. Okay, so 485, select that, and it's going to give us the formula here. And as you can see here, there's a color wheel on the right. It just kind of, it's kind of like a little pie chart that shows you the percentages of each pigment, so you know which pigment's going to have the most. I personally like to, um, when I'm mixing colors, I personally like to mix from smallest quantity to largest quantity. Reason being is if um, you, you go over on the percentage or the quantity that you're supposed to, you can take it out very easily. Uh, if there's already another color in there, you know, you wanna put the next color, not right on top of it, maybe next to it if possible. Again, in case you go over, you can take some of that out. And then the last color is going to be the one that has the most, which is kind of hard to go over on that one. That's a little bit easier to control. So there's that. And then we have this active wheel up here on top, uh, color chip wheel. Again, if you're just looking for a color that might be next to it, uh, you can go in there, look for it, and select it. Okay. And down here on the bottom, we have a, a print option and then also an email option here in case you want to reach out to us about anything really um, questions uh, errors in the formulas uh, missing formulas you know just you can type about anything in there it'll come to us we'll figure it out if you leave us a good uh, message there a detailed message on where we can help you and uh, we'll try to get back to you within 24 hours okay but um, the next thing I want to show you I'm going to change it from the application from Discharge to direct to fabric. Uh, let me go back real quick one more uh, ink system, right? So when you're in the formula, I want you to notice up here on top it says bright DC Neil 485C. That means is a bright discharge base or bright discharge series. DC is discharge, so just uh, reassuring you that it is a discharge product. Neo is the name of our pigments. 485 is a Pantone color. And then obviously C is for coated. Uh, we will be offering uncoated, coated, and some brand formulas as well in this third box, but that's not activated yet. So for now, everything is going to be coated. So now we'll go ahead and uh, move over to Directive Fabric, Ink System, 
And the popular one for direct to fabric here is a pretty much our 301 series. We'll go ahead and select the same color. And you can see that up here on top, it actually changed. So it's now it says 301. RC stands for ready color, meaning the color is ready to print. Uh, no underbase. Pigment system, Pantone color, coated. And you'll also see that the formula changes up a little bit. And it's asking for the clear 301 base. So this makes it easier uh, when you have any questions in regards to what base do I use. Okay, this is going to identify and make it a lot easier uh, where before we either had RC or OW. Now we are doing a better job at specifying the base that you'll be using. Uh, and then you got the pigments underneath here. Again, you got your color wheel here giving you percentages and you still have the rotating screen up here on top. Next. I'm going to go ahead and show you what an OW looks like. We're going to go to the ink system here. Popular OW is Easy Print. So Easy Print is a medium solid acrylic. It's basically 50% uh, of the 301 and 50% of the Stretch series to give you the best of both worlds. It's a good uh, multi-use uh, multi ink system uh, and has good opacity and very good for printing over a white underbase. So these colors now and these formulas are designed to print over a white in, uh, white underbase on a dark garment. And now I'm gonna go ahead and select the 485 here. And you'll see here, again, specifies the series, Easy Print 301. Now it says OW, okay? OW means it's going over a white underbase. So that's just assuring you that it's the right formula if that's what you wanna do. Uh, Neil for the pigments, 485 for the Pantone number, and C for coated. And again, if you look at the formula, we looked at the same color for all three options, and you can see the formulas do change. Because in this scenario, there's going to be a little bit more opacity to the base, so you might even see a little bit more pigment concentration. Um, or depending on who made the formula, Maybe the 301 series was done by a different person than the Easy Print or the Stretch series uh, technician. So you will notice some differences there on the formulas, but that also assures you that we have been uh, doing our best to formulate for all the different scenarios and not just using the same formula for everything. Uh, that's very important because every type of uh, printing uh, technique might or application might require a different type of formula. Uh, so that the colors can be close to what you're looking for or uh, close to the Pantone color. So I'm hoping this uh, information helps you on better understanding uh, the use of our software. And uh, like I mentioned earlier, uh, there's a there's a email here on the bottom. If there's any questions, concerns, uh, formulas that are missing, you know, uh, feel free to send us an email and we'll try to get back to you uh, within 24 hours. Is, is pretty common, maybe less, and uh, get you a formula that's working. But we do need as many de as much detail as you can provide us with so that we can um, reply to you in a timely manner with a solution. So this concludes this tutorial for today on the Color Mixer 3.0. We thank you for your business, your time, and patience. Look forward to hearing from you soon. Till next time.